it down so that it can't move. Really? Yes. But the ones that are thick? The ones that are thick, they usually don't come up with a wall because they make quite thick. Fabric? Not thick fabric, it's just that they are thick with either a knot, if you've tied a knot, so that they can't and also, break free. Mommy, mm -hmm. there's like little strings that are stuck together. Yes. That's so my like has got a little tiger. Tiger. I've, I've put the ribbon around hers. And it's the same color as the same. So this is my Rika's one. She's made like a colorful a rainbow tiger. Here's her and here's one. Liam's. And here's Liam's one. His is like a camouflage color with green, with a bit of orange, with gold. So he's made his like this. He's just gone off somewhere. wandering somewhere. Because he got bored. So. He he can't sit down for very long. He gets bored very quickly. How? So I'm going to knot in his one. And will you put some salad tape just to take that string yes, on? Yes, I will put in some sticky tape, otherwise he will be looking into a string. And if you look there, he might look into a string. So I'm just going to stick those down. Yeah. And also guys, if you help your mom with the stuff that you were making, it's very easy for mommy to make it. Yes. Help is always nice to have. Even from spring. So here's Liam's one. He's just got the shoelace. There you are! Come see him, you're finished! Okay. He's... Nah, he's not. He wants to use. Listen to music on the other side. Yeah. Okay, so this is Liam's one. I've got the shoelace around. It's his binoculars, you can see. Quite an awesome colour, I think. Because if you like those, so nobody can even see it. Or you're looking at books. Yes. Okay, so we like using recycled things to make something at home. Um, so that you don't have to buy it. Yes, so you don't always have to go and spend money on buying toys. You can always make simple little toys like binoculars at home. Or a car case for your yes. boxes if you do have. Yes, um, we're probably going to do a video on that as well. Liam has got a bag full of Hot Wheels. He was at one stage of his life absolutely Hot Wheel crazy. And um, I've got quite a couple of boxes in one of these cupboards here that we keep. And um, we're going to make like a car garage or... A petrol uh, station and parking lot on top. Yeah, we're going to do something with it. I'll, I still have to just put my head together and just see what I'm going to make with it. And also next video we will have a surprise for everybody. Using okay. these binoculars. Yes. So with these binoculars you can go and watch birds in the trees or you can um, play, play with these animals. Yes, you can do playing with these animals. You can go like on a safari hunt. You can always use your imagination to go outdoors and play. Um, which is always nice, keeps you active. Keeps you busy. Yep. And when the mind is being used to do imagination, to like for imaginations, it's good. It's good. It keeps your mind active. And um, it keeps you active. Keeps you active because you're running outdoors. Because so why do we do recycling like Because it helps the planet. Mm -hmm. It does. We don't destroy the planet. That's good. And also, stuff don't lie around everywhere. Yes. Because when you recycle, the things like this, like the toilet rolls and that, can be recycled, as you can see, you can make toys out of it. Or, you actually do proper recycling with it, where you keep all the paperwork together, you keep all the cans together, all the glass together, and in that way, they get um, to a recycling center, to a recycling center, and they get distributed properly, and they get discarded off properly, instead of just lying all over in the streets and everywhere else. And in the rivers. And it's in the not good no. for animals. Exactly. Because all the stuff lying in, in the rivers, animals yeah. get stuck in them and they can die. Or even for all the they garbage and things it. lying, exactly, they can eat it. All the garbage lying on the, on the ground everywhere outside. Animals also eat that and it can actually kill them. And by killing them, you actually start to killing us. 
So we don't want to do that. We don't want to destroy the environment. And also, we need the environment. We need trees, we need um, water, and by destroying all of that, we end up not having any of it. So by starting at home recycling little things like this, it actually makes a huge difference to the environment outdoors. Yep, good. And also guys, if you see something lying on the floor, just pick it up and throw it in the bin. If it's recycled, just tell mommy you found something and just keep it to it. Yes. But before you pick something up from the ground, especially if it's outdoors, so it's not in your house. Or in um, your house. Or in your house. Um, maybe not pick it up with your clean bare hands. Rather use like a plastic bag or paper or something to pick it up because you don't know what's on it and, um, and if you, have dirty you can get hands. cut if it's grass. So rather be careful when you pick up things outside the house, rather not. Um, but and if you have messy house, hands, you just pick it up, put it in the bed or somewhere else and just go wash it in later. Yes, always wash your hands when you have finished using all sorts of things. I like my pinky hands. So when we are done here, we are going to clean up. Marika and Nino is going to help me clean up. Yep. Because that is also another important thing to do after you've had some fun while creating something is to clean up. And um, you don't want to leave everything messy because yep. it's not nice, it doesn't look nice. And if you clean up without mommy asking you, mommy will be so proud of you that um, she might give a little surprise for you for later on. Okay. Yep. But that's it for today. Yep. So we're going to say goodbye with our binoculars. Yep. See us again soon. And comment down below, did you make these before? Or do you make other stuff recycling? And what do you make? What have you made with recycling? Do you recycle? Do you keep things like toilet rolls, boxes and things separately so that you can make something out of it? Like our uh, experiments that we do, we use plastic bottles and cardboard to do it. Exactly. We tend to prefer using all these things and it ends up being so much fun because you sit together and do things like this. It's not that you just go and play on your own. You always have a friend or a brother or sister that you can do like this me, with. Like me, I have a brother. We <laughs> play together, we mix up together. Exactly. But I think is very close and they love to do all these arty things together. They love playing together. If I ask, if I can paint it, I ask, then I bring my Liam's paint. Yes. Instead of mine. Yes, like absolutely. absolutely. So guys, comment below. What did you think about the video? Do you like what we made with recycled things? And have you made all sorts of different recycling things? Yeah. What have you made? And share our videos so that your friends and families can also see what we do. And they can also do all these things and you can go, I school do we can all do it together and, yep. and have so much fun. Instead of being alone and getting bored while doing it. Too. Yes, companionship. Always chat along when you're doing things. Yeah. And subscribe to our videos so that you know when our new videos are coming out, so that you know when we've got new exciting things coming your way. And yeah, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our video. Bye guys. Bye guys.